if you are considering the Nuna Exec for a car seat for your family, this is the video to watch. It is one of my all time favorite car seats. It's amazing. Now, if you don't know the Exec, it is an all in one car seat. You can start this at five pounds and it goes all the way up to 120 pounds and I'm going to show you exactly how this whole thing works and maybe after this video, you will know whether this is the right car seat for you, which would be amazing. If you don't know me, I'm Ellie from Magic Beans Videos. If you've watched my videos before, welcome back. We have the most comprehensive reviews on YouTube. I've been doing this over 10 years and I've been like selling car seats for almost 20 years. So, and I have three kids of my own, so listen up. We're going to have a lot of fun looking at this car seat together. So I have this in the forward facing position right now, but like I said, this is a, a, a car seat that you would start using. You could use it as early as newborn. So I'm going to turn this in, into its profile so I can actually show you how this works. And um, one of the things I like about the Nuna um, exec, and this is similar to the Nuna Rava. By the way, I'm doing a comparison of the exec and the Rava very soon, so definitely subscribe to the channel so you don't miss that comparison. And the, so right here, the blue is for rear facing, the red is the sign for forward facing, and the purple is the sign for booster seat, which I will go to go through in a hot second. So um, I'm going to, in the rear facing position, I'm going to raise up this um, this is like a footrest in the forward facing position, but it's an anti-rebound bar or anti-rebound plate in the rear facing position. Then I'm going to maneuver this by just pushing the simple button into the blue zone. So one would be where you would start. So if you have that newborn baby, you can be in this really perfect position in the rear facing position. Again, that anti-rebound um, plate on the back that um, lowers the rotation of the car seat. It keeps it more stable. There may be a number of reasons why you want to, you want to start with an installed car seat for an infant car seat, which is on the go. Um, and this is a really nice infant insert. So you can see this extra head protection and the infant insert, which really is going to secure and cradle your baby beautifully from the beginning. But as you, um, as your baby gets bigger, and you'll probably use this after you finish like a Nuna Pippa, you may have a Nuna Pippa, you easily just unsnap here, unsnap here. You know, actually I'm gonna pull this out and pull this out and this comes right out, cool. So infant insert, bye-bye, and headpiece. Let's take that out as well, bye-bye. And then I'm just gonna sort of tuck that back underneath so we don't have to have this bothering the child's head. Oh, by the way, are you, are you wondering what color this is? It's really nice, right? Uh, do you have a beige interior in your car? Um, it's hazelwood. This is the hazelwood color. Now, let's talk about how to uh, affix this to the car. Like I say, this is not an installation video. I'm just showing you how this works for demonstration purposes. Please find a CPST, a car seat tech near you to show you how to properly install this. But I do want you to know how this works so that you do install this well. What you do is you open up this piece right here. Um, there are cup holders on the side. Pop this open. Now your little newborn baby is not going to drink from a cup, but this is how you route the seatbelt through. You open up again that blue section. It opens up very, very nicely, that blue section. And then you take your seatbelt, route it through where those seatbelt, I'm sorry, where those cup holders open up. And you pop in your seatbelt. Now, you may be used to, if you have a Nuna Pippa, those latch connectors, those staple type things, those are included. You do have those latch connectors here if you do want to use this, but this is really optimally used when you use a seatbelt. Remember, seatbelts keep us safe in our cars, so it's going to totally keep your um, car seat safe in your car as well. So you just put in that um, seatbelt. You just take out a little bit of slack. It's really, you don't have to take out that much slack. Push, close that door up, right like that, and boom. It is so, so secure. There's one last step to really make sure that it's super, super locked in. What you do is you take your seatbelt, pull it all the way to the very end. It's going to switch over the retractor into sort of a more manual, like a more manual ratcheting position. And then it is, then you are totally, totally good to go. But this is very easy to install. One of the things I love about this or the new Narava is that it is easy for um, pretty much anyone to install. But again, I would highly recommend you have a check from a CPST, but in general it is, 
um, very easy to install. Now, in the rear-facing position, you need your straps just a notch below the back of the shoulders. You do not want your little baby to have the straps above. It needs to be right below the back shoulders, nice and tight and snug, um, and the chest clip right at sort of the armpit level. Um, nice and tight. And then, um, another nice thing about the Exec is that it is rear facing to 50 pounds. So we love our children rear facing as long as possible. They will be very comfortable in the seat rear facing. Again, straps behind you, rear facing to 50 pounds. And then what you can do is you can turn this around and put it into the forward facing position. So I'm again, easily going to just open this up, open up that little blue thing, pull this out, do do do, close it up, close it up, snap it down. Now you're gonna do this very infrequently. Oh my God, if you're a grandparent thinking about this, so this is a great grandparent seat, you may wanna consider doing, you may doing this more frequently, but you will put it, you will again, push that little button here, put it in one of the forward facing positions, and then you will push that foot rest down, and now you're in that forward facing position. Okay, you pop these, um, cup holders up open now, you can actually use this as a sippy cup. Again, it has a non-rethread harness, so as your child gets bigger, the straps go up. This is forward-facing with the harness until 65 pounds. So that is really nice, and to install the car seat, uh, similar to the rear-facing position, but you're gonna use the red panel, open it up, click it down, switch over the retractor, boom, you're good to go really, really, Easy. Oh, wait, 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 oh my God, hello. I'm actually recording a video in the future where I'm comparing the Nuna Exec and the Britax One for Life, which you should definitely check out because we're publishing that soon. So subscribe now, well, yeah. But I forgot to say in this video when I recorded the full Exec review that you're gonna see there's this other pouch in the, that comes in the Exec box. Let's see what's in the pouch. So there is this cover. There is this organic insert that they put in with the, um, with the exec. So I went on and on about how much I like that exec, that, the, I'm sorry, that in, insert, the infant insert that comes with the exec in that video. May I ramble about that too much? But if you're like an organic person, you could switch out that hazelwood color and put in this organic insert. So you have it in here if you want organic materials near your baby's skin. There are also little shoulder pads and crotch strap, all that is organic. There is also this cover that um, gives you this sort of quilting look that goes over the front uh, leg piece of your exec. So that's what those little um, pieces do. I'm gonna go back to the comparison video. Keep enjoying the exec review. Um, so yeah, so you can use this with a harness up until 65 pounds, but wait, it goes to 120 pounds. It is really important that your child is in a booster seat mode with their car seat. So you do not need to get another car seat or another booster seat in the future. You can just use your exec. Use it for a very long time. This turns into a booster seat. What a booster seat does is it positions the seat belt comfortably. Check out my best booster seats, a 2022 video. If you're thinking about booster seats, it's very informative all about booster seats, but uh, what happens is you will sort of stop using the harness. You can sort of remove the harness or, or slide, slide away the harness. So it's very comfortable for your child to sit. Also very good looking, like nice, modern, like non, not too babyish looking car seat. So your child blends in easily as a booster seat. Just take the seat belt, put it through the neck belt, put the over the lap belt, click it in just as a booster seat, keep it installed and you are good to go as a booster seat up to 120 pounds. So this is really a fantastic seat that will grow with the child in a really fantastic way. Um, and I would highly recommend that you check out one of our playlists that I'm going to link below to watch more reviews for Magic Beans videos. I will see you at another Magic Beans video. Mm -hmm.